there's time for wet floors. There's Henry Fiddler. He's got a NASA suit on. Claire does. Yeah, when syndicates um, die, they sometimes blow up. A Compton's card. Thank you for your sacrifice. There's a whole lot of stuff here. Weapon authorization. A red spacesuit. Let's see, what do we got in this backpack? A nuclear authentication disc. Uh, some ammo for 357. That nuclear authentication finder. I don't want that falling back into a syndicate's hands. I'm sure they all probably have their own finder. We're just gonna we're gonna get rid of it. Whoa. Never mind, it can stay there. No one's gonna get it. Apparently the backpack cannot go around the uh, locker. Yay, slip and slides. So we got the botanist card, now I can get in and out of these maintenance tunnels. Whoa, and killer tomatoes. What is going on? Um... Killer tomato in the boxing ring. I'm out of here. Help me out. Help me. I don't have any tools. It's going to eat me. Help me, Henry. Um, how about my my rolling pin? Beat it to death. Um, do I have to set this to harm to beat it? There we go. We rolling pinned him to death. Coward, whoever your name was that ran away. You're a coward for life in my books. You corduroy pantsed man. We have three minutes to hobble ourselves to the escape arm. I think we can do it. We'll be able to make it. Perhaps. Oh, I should probably click that to run. I'm still wounded and move a little bit faster. <clears throat> Wasn't sure how far I was going to have to walk on those wet floors. Scout through here. There's obviously some um, operatives still alive. We might bump into them. I would check out Botany, since I've got the Botanist card, but there's probably more than one killer tomato in there. Congratulations on them for growing them, prized tomatoes. I'm always happy to see those, even if they're not a traitor. Let them grow their stuff, damn it. Let them do their science. Just weld the doors shut. And don't let them out, ever. Allahu snack bar. Allahu snack bar. Allahu snack bar. Luke. Are you there, Luke? Apparently our chaplain's brain dead and gone. We have Stubert Bibton, Bubton sitting there, and Donald Keyes. My elbow hurts from a fall in the shower. My elbow hurts from a fail in the shower. He grunts for a moment, but nothing happens. Is he trying to poop his pants? <laughs> Push him down, strip him naked. I want his hat. Get that hat! Two minutes until the shuttle arrives. <clears throat> Maybe we can go get healed up real quick. In minute 30. Someone with a face mask on. Um, kill anyone hiding their faces. Newton Tech number two has arrived. Newton Tech operative number two. And a huge poo stain is in front of Medbay. Are there any doctors here? I could use a, a brute pack to heal my wounds. Just have a nice glass of tea here. 
Raw number four, the only humans on the station are ones who have been hired by CENTCOM to perform jobs benefiting the station. Any non-native personnel not hired by CENTCOM who wish to harm the station. There's Tom something, Tom Partridge. Wish to harm the station or any of its inhabitants is not human. And these life forms are known as syndicates. This law overrides laws one through three. Well, good job, number two. You at least survived until the shuttle arrives. If he's got the disc, it may be an, um, a neutral victory. Hold on, McGroin. We smear the poo on Holden McGroin. Is he dead already? No, he's not. But he's now covered in his own excrement, which is no less than that man deserves. We have another backpack here. Anything in it? No. And you know what? Holden McGroin. Hell, move it. Let's put the cuffs on Holden McGroin. You've been arrested. Aw, oh, never mind. Come on. Let's go, Holden. We'll pull him in. Maybe. He's so fat. So fat I can't even pull him. Two authorizations needed. Yep, so nice little syndicate round. Good job, everyone. Good job to the station. We'll see how many are left when it's all said and done. And number two tries to surrender. One authorization. Come on, get the last authorization in here and hold him and go and peace himself. Where is he at? Right there? Can we maybe strap him to a chair? Yep, he's buckled in. And let's handcuff him now. No more of that. Yeah, dang it, he's quick. Don't let him open that canister. Is my drag canister in here when I wasn't looking? No. Main thing to listen for on the shuttle is the sound of a grenade priming. There is, is that operative number two, maybe? Probably. Anderson Cloud. Stuart Bubton. Blinds unknown. Take your face masks off. There he is. Unknown. Don't bring him on the shuttle with us. Leave, leave him out there. Either that or beat him to death. This message will not self-destruct in two seconds, unknown says. Let's see, is he going to succumb and suicide and blow everyone up? Or is he going to try to ride the storm out? Unknown, examine. He's got a tactical turtleneck, insulated. Does he have insulated gloves? No, he's got an agent card. Kill him. He's definitely a syndicate. Kill him quickly. We only have 35 seconds. Plus he's standing on top of Holden McGroin. How rude is that? Let go of me. <clears throat> and he probably will blow up, so I'm not going to stand around him. But we'll watch them all. 17 seconds. 15 seconds. They're trying to handcuff him to beat him. He's trying to surrender. Will they let him surrender? Five seconds. And it's going to be a neutral victory, I think. The detective always smoke. Nope, the research staff won. Woohoo! I'm going to switch this to disarm and try to disarm our way out of here. No, let me through. I want to go grab a burger and space beer down here. You haven't won until you've ate your last meal down there. Oh, good job, research team. And nice try, syndicates. You almost had it. Not really. You want to put a banging donk on it? My Immortal, Chapter 1. A.M. Special thanks. Get it? 
because I'm gothic to my GF. Ew, not in that way, Raven. Bloody Tears 666 for helping me with the story and spelling. Uh, rock. Justin, er, the love of my depression life, rock too. MCR rocks. X, 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 bunch of X's, X and some more X's. Okay, here we go. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way, and I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name, with purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid-back and icy blue eyes like limpid tears. And a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. A.N., if you don't know who she is, get the hell out of here. I'm not related to Gerard Way, but I wish I was because he's a major fucking hottie. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch, and I go to a magic school called Hogwarts in England, where I'm the seventh year. I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell. And I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes from there. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it and a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black eyeliner, and red eye shadow. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was very happy about. A lot of preps stared at me. I put up my middle finger at them. Hey, Ebony, shouted a voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco? I asked. Nothing, he said shyly. But then I heard my friends call me and I had to go away.